Hello Taurus, welcome back to I Enigma. I Enigma going to be doing your general reading for December. This is a bonus read. I'll see the current energies around you. How does this person feel for you? What is going to happen next? Upcoming events, health and current guidance in a nutshell. Please note that this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. So take what resonates for accurate personal readings, white spells and premium charge crystals. Feel free to reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. Also the white prebase spells. <clears throat> And we are currently having cord cutting spell and banish spells additional. And check out my Instagram for all the updates. Follow my Instagram. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign in uh, Taurus plus cross watchers. What's coming up for you in the month of December? Wow. So there's a new beginning. I'm seeing friendships. I'm seeing relationships being formed. Oh, wow. You're coming out of the past. I feel there's someone that you're letting go of. You were holding on to someone you had extreme expectations from. You were like, okay, this is this person's gonna do this to me. This person's gonna do this for me, that for me. It never happened. Your hopes were, you know, literally uh, broken. So this made you feel bad, but at the same time, it gave you an ability for you to move on this gave you an opportunity for you to move on so i feel like you're taking that opportunity and moving on from this person and since that day you are seeing a lot more growth in your life so you may have blocked this person you may have called it quits forever since that day you're seeing a lot more success coming into your life i'm definitely seeing a new relationship is coming in your life there's someone that is attracted towards you and sees you as someone out of the ordinary and special. You're special in this person's eyes. This new person, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. This could be a long distance relationship for some of you. But I'm definitely seeing this as someone that, that, that really wants to start something with you. That wants to start a new cycle with you. A new chapter with you. Says beautiful chapter in love is opening up. This is someone that can possibly put a ring on you. This is like you can see the sun behind this person. So there's definitely a new, um, you know, beginning where the sun is shining bright. The grass is greener on the other side. So you're taking forward steps in getting to know someone new into your life, in your life. Nine of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. You're stopping yourself from moving forward. I feel you need to take that one step. That one step will change the whole scenario around you. And I'm also seeing there's an energy of past person trying to reconnect with you, wanting you back. But I'm seeing you're looking for peace. You're looking for someone that can give you commitment, that can give you stability. So since this is not happening with this person, you're walking away. You are expecting someone to love you. Before that, respect you. Taurus, I'm definitely seeing you're in this energy of feeling free from this person and feeling like you've laid a solid foundation for yourself. You feel happier. You know, you feel like um, all the, you know, burden over your shoulders has been released and you can do just exactly the way you want your life, you know, how you want your life to go by. You can literally do anything you want to do. So I'm definitely seeing two love offers coming into your life. Two love offers, literally two love offers. There's one person that's very emotional, another person that's very attracted towards you. That's your soulmate. Both of them wanting to marry. Oh, you choose Taurus. Wow. Let me see. What about the past person? Is it over? Let me have more clarity for you. Yes, they're crying over you. They're not happy. They're sad. They're stressed outcome with the past person that you walked away from is there any kind of reconciliation this person is coming to marry you this person is asking you to marry you okay but that's a different story that you moved on but you really need to know that it's not over yet this person is crying is anxious after losing you and is coming back to marry you what about the new person the new person is coming with fast passionate uh, uh, force. I feel this new person is definitely coming towards you passionately and showing you intense excitement. I feel like this person really wants you to close the chapter with the past person. Somewhere I feel the reason why this person is not opening up to you, this new person may be 
uh, on and off because there is a doubt in their heart, in their head that you're still talking to the past person. You have to clear this thing out that you're not dealing with the past at all. Yeah, they're secretly watching you. They're trying to figure out whether you're still a, a single or you're dealing with some or you're talking to someone, especially a past person. So this person is trying to get more, you know, information about you, someone new. So give them space right now. I feel the main reason is they can see you that you're unhappy. They can see that you have felt really bad for the treatment you were given by the past person because of which there is a doubt in their heart that, you know, you don't like them. Okay, you may want to be with this new person, but somewhere you still, your heart is still somewhere with the past. That is the only confusion this person wants to clear out. And that is why you will see this person being very slow in their approach towards you, on and off in their approach towards you. But they really want to marry you, Taurus. Yes, Ten of Pentacles. I was telling you, this person is definitely willing to put their all into this connection. But the problem over here is they have trust issues. Somewhere they feel like you're lying to them. You need to spend more time with this new person because they feel like you're lying. They feel like your heart is with the past. They feel like the past is going to take you away and they will be left here stuck. Okay. So there is a fear. Okay. This person is fearful. The new person. That what if the past tries to create ripples between you and your person's married life? Because they're already thinking about marriage over here. For sure. There's someone that is in love with you. Because I'm seeing the king and queen of wands. This is a soulmate card. And then there is a ten of cups. So this is definitely talking about this person sees you as someone that they have found as in one and only. They may not be in love with you yet. But I'm definitely sensing this energy that they're seeing that you are the person that they want to fall in love with. They want to grow with and they want to get married to. There are a lot of trust issues. You may need to convince this person this new person is not going to be easy to convince they're very hard they're very difficult they may have co uh, come out of a bad relationship a bad cheating relationship so this is why i feel this person has trust issues with you most probable outcome between you and this new person let me see most probable outcome two of wands Right, so the most probable outcome, it could be this way or that way. You never know this connection can go in the right direction or in the wrong direction as well. So you have to be smart in dealing with this person because this person has been broken in the past. Their heart was badly broken in the past. So this new person wants to be with you for sure. And they're hesitant right now. This person is hesitant. Should I give this a chance or should I not? Should I give this a chance or should I not? That is what is going on in this person's head. Advice for you here, Taurus. Please give me advice. Ace of Swords. If you really want this person, you have to be one way. Okay? You have to be very open and honest towards this person about each and every communication with the past. Okay? You have to be open and honest and you have to... Uh, focus all your energy and attention to them if you put them in this confusion that you are skeptical and you have trust issues then you definitely don't have a future with this person okay have you met this person or this is someone that's about to come okay i feel this person is going to meet you in the near future in um social setup where everybody is looking at you okay you're giving a speech or you're the life of the party over there so that's very strongly possible that this person is going to meet you since then and will plan to get to know you more so i would say four weeks or four days even who is this person coming from my Taurus? This is someone that is coming from a faraway place. They travel towards you. They'll travel towards you because in your city, they keep traveling. Okay. And uh, that's how they're going to find you and talk to you. 
they're very open one thing that i'm seeing about this person is quite attractive and passionate about life yes five of wands this person does have anger issues i would say honestly this person has been heartbroken in love recently so they have become closed off to love and they have trust issues as i told you so they've been rejecting proposals because they haven't found the one that they can think of a future with you are that first person with whom they will feel like yes there's a possibility i can see a future with them okay but there will be trust issues yes this person feels lonely no love no love in their life very lonely they may be doing well money wise but they just feel like why am i betrayed all the time you know like that they have this feeling i feel like they've made up their mind that this time they want to be with someone that they can marry as the reason is they are very sad and depressed and now they've made up their mind that they want to get married they've become mature the last relationship has made them more uh mature and they have understood the importance of marriage so this person is so mature now they want marriage now they want a lifelong commitment yeah this person is definitely in the past whoever this is yeah i'm seeing even your past person is trying to come back taurus but the thing is this new person is also heartbroken very badly they've had pain misery they're still trying to come out of this energy but since the day they meet you they would want to forget their past and start a new journey with you they want to start a new journey with you that's for sure this could be coming from a different religious background and the thing important over here is the hearts connect you guys will literally connect with each other on an emotional level it's time for you to separate yourself from the past if you're still dealing with the past person this person won't like it let me tell you that honestly speaking okay it's time for you to release someone that is just taking advantage of you you are being adored there's someone that definitely adores you and wants to have you but they have this fear that they might lose you so you have to uh win this person's trust basically if i have to tell you this advice please advice is get a moonstone moonstone we have rare bracelet it will help you understand what you want deep inside connect with your intuition and you listen to your intuition and follow your you know heart's desire because your success in is in following your intuition so you will be able to tap into your intuition and take the right decisions for yourself that is why a moonstone is good for you let's see the signs coming in taurus Okay, we have Leo. We have Cancer, Aquarius. From Aries to Pisces, your person's feelings for you. Aries Aries sees you as the best person they've ever met you're like a soulmate for them they want to get to know you the Taurus wants to take a step forward marriage the Gemini is freaking out i feel they really want self respect if they figure out that you're still stuck in the past or still dealing with the past person they will be very quick to leave you Cancer Cancer is wanting to win you and have you in their life and you know take things forward but i feel like they want to keep this connection secret for some reason leo leo is thinking a lot about this connection haven't made a decision yet virgo is taking step towards you aggressively 
Libra. Libra is conscious. They feel like you're way better than them. Okay, you're better than them in league, in status. Scorpio, very hesitant, scared and shy and worried that you may leave them one day. Sagittarius is too much in the, into their victim mentality. Leave them alone. Capricorn. This person is recently been heartbroken, backstabbed, and they really will take a lot of time and efforts from your side to change them. Aquarius. Aquarius is sad and depressed since you're gone, or they have the fear and anxiety of losing you. This, this is a new love. Pisces wants to take it slow. Okay, they're still keeping their options open. Okay, now let's do the charm. Someone is in social media. I feel you might meet this person through social media. New love is coming through social media. You have a lot of opportunities for love coming in. But it's time for you to break away from this codependent energy. You're still stuck on someone. If you are the one, then you will never find new love. If you're still stuck on someone. Let's be honest. Time for you to be your own man or woman. Do things for yourself. Listen to your intuition. Build a stable foundation for yourself. Your person is someone that's going to be very masculine when it comes to proposing. They will be the one proposing. You don't have to worry about it. I'm seeing you're, you're shining through. A lot of people are getting to know about you and they're liking you as a person. You could have O-S-E. Olsen could be the name. I in, in your name or your person's name. Double I. OZ, Orlando, Oshin, Ocean, someone's name is Ocean, someone believes in Osho, Ismail, Ismail, these are, the, these are certain names, Elvis, Eon, someone's from Japan, Korea, Indonesia, India, Israel, Iceland, Ireland, England, Ecuador, Sweden, Spain, Somalia, Serbia, Syria, South Africa, South Sudan, North Sudan. Someone owns a company here. I'm seeing this person is someone that living, that's living overseas. So that's possible that you'll meet through social media. Very strongly possible. Okay. Asian countries. I'm seeing many of you are from Asian countries. It's also talking about amen. Write down the comment section, claim the beautiful part of this reading, right? S-A, A-S-E, amen. Aileen could be the name. Ashley, Marvick, something like that. Okay, so these are some letters I'm seeing. I'm seeing you're going to get married, right? Very, very strongly, there's a possibility of someone that's bringing a stable commitment, lifelong commitment with you. Okay, it's time for you to just believe in yourself. Be your own man, right? Don't like wait for someone to come in and change your life. Just be your you, be that person that can change your own life, you know, the way you want. Someone's name is Sohail, Indian name, Soya. Someone's from Arabic country. Okay. So these are certain messages for you, Taurus. I hope you've enjoyed this beautiful read. Thank you for your time. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to I Enigma. Bye. Take care.